This is Josiah Plays Middle Earth Shadow of Gondor. I'm looking at my map. I'm here near the Black Gate. I have some intel I want to get. I have Gollum to go speak to in this mission, and I want to go see what's going on with this outcast business right here on my map. So. I'm going to come over here. One minute I was minding my own business. The next, I was on the ground looking up at the lake. Oh, that's right. They, they run off terrified when I head, headshot somebody. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Gonna have a real successful hunt. Got my eye on my prize. But I'm hiding. Alright, fine. We'll do this the hard way then. Execute. Oh. I was going to do another execute, but there were no living foes left. I bet you thought you were going to run up and hit me with that thing, didn't you? Ouch. Oh, man, that's so brutal. And don't lose your head. Oh. I don't want to kill my intel. And I just murdered my intel. <laughs> Damn. Boom! Execute! Execute! Wow, brutal. Off with your head. Alright. Where to get your head in the game? Get your swords and axes ready to swing. Okay. We went hunting again. So what's going on here? Besides this guy getting shot in the face in a second? Wait, what's whoa? I can't believe they would kill us for breaking a few. What? What's now available? A few broken tools have earned these slaves days of torture. Slay the Uruks guarding them and set them free. Oh, so I guess I, I freed enough slaves that I can now do go do that slave mission. Tools. The others didn't get away. Please help. Okay, I, I will. Momentarily. I'm just gonna run up here because there's some there's some elf shot up here. I would like to avail myself of it. Okay, where is it? Do you see Elf Shot? There it is. Oh, 
they certainly made it difficult to get to. All right. Okay. So I guess I don't want to go through that right now. So And all that intel is... I think I killed all of the intel people. Leap of faith! That water looks kind of cool. It looked kind of cool as I was in midair, like... Still need pipe weed. And La Thronde. Hey, there's some pipe weed. Let's do this. Turn it into a pink cushion before it even hit the ground. What's this Mr. Sneaky doing? I'd get a little quick, easy intel here. Even though it's not good intel, it'll still identify somebody. So Gamoob's laying there dead. And we know, but we don't know this guy. Another Gamoob! Gamoob Falspawn. He's at Dirtha and Keep. He's eager to fight Talion and show other Urux how it's done. Well, he doesn't look that tough to me. He's surrounded by flies and he needs to wash his face and he needs to do something different with his hair. Ah, dangerous bushes! Once you start that, you can no longer counter. And you get executed. Oh, that was a cool execute. Fighting is pretty fun in this game, I gotta say. Alright, let's go back to this third rank here. I don't know any of these guys. 
Let's start here. Maku Blood Axe. Wow. Now he looks pretty intimidating. He loves it up close and personal. He's all bloody. He looks strong. He's got scary looking armor. He looks like Kratos from God of War games. He's got a pretty vicious looking axe with a skull on it. Yeah, Maku Blood Axe looks like he's going to be no joke. Okay. Glad we had this talk. Alright, now can I go... Do this business with Gollum? You have attracted the attention of a mysterious creature. Track him down and discover what he knows of you. Sort of road that hides in the shadows. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers? For both of us. We should find him then. It shouldn't be too difficult. Ah. Oh, there's a bonus These objective. These are not quite human. Not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. So I can see the trail of where he went as a... I want that intel. As a... in ghost, ghost mode. And I have a bonus objective to free some slaves. That must be a slave right there that needs free and he's getting kicked by the that's rude. Cool, I can still see the tracks when I went into interrogate mode. Alright, so we know. Oh, we don't know about Fulgum and Hura. We don't know about Gamub Falspawn. We know about him. We know about him and him. So, Thrak Hot Tongs. Oh, let's learn about Maku Blood Axe's stuff. Oh boy, look at all those abilities. So he's afraid of his rival, but we don't know who his rival is. He's damaged by finishers and he's damaged by ranged attacks. Okay, that's good. So he's not as tough to kill. But man, he knows how to do some stuff. He can kill monsters quickly. He inflicts deep wounds that bleed. He calls nearby allies. He's first to strike. He picks you up and throws you to the ground. You can't counter him. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, so he's a guy that we put arrows into from a distance before engaging. Got it. Maku Blood Axe. Nice. Not even outcasts deserve this fight. The chain of man seems to always end in shackles. Okay, so I freed one slave. Be wary. This creature leads us to peril. There's a rat running by. So... There are more slaves over there that can be freed. The Wraith world is pretty crazy. Now let's go over here and free some of these, from some of these slaves. the scenery. Look at that light shining through the clouds. So 
so we've got an archer up there and a bunch of orcs down there but none of them have intel so I can just go crazy I wonder I wonder what happens if I shoot that thing Oh cool, that automatically freed all the slaves. Because it sent all the orcs packing. That was cool. Well that was an easy way to do things. Awesome. I want to get I want to get up here just so I can take a look around. That's cool looking. Wow. This game looks pretty nice. I don't even have things maxed out. Not even close to maxed out. I'm on like medium textures and medium like ambient occlusion, I think, and everything else is on high, not ultra. So the game could look a lot better. I don't have that high def texture pack or anything. Oh, health shot. Don't mind if I do. Do I have that tower already? I do, okay. Well, let's go back now that I freed all the slaves. Let's go find Gollum. Are no obstacle for it. So it looks like the trail goes that way. This guy gonna run. Terrified because of, yeah, they are. Okay, that's awesome. That's a good rune. Clears up big packs and they just run away. And that's the way the trail goes. I like that sprint too. Hold on. I need a pipe weed, and there's a pipe weed right over here. Cool. Three out of three. And the trail goes that way. I'm coming to find you, Gollum. Oh, there's a cave. That must be where he is. There! It's on the run! Bats. Not the bats. I'm coming, Gollum. I just want to talk to you. Spoiler alert, you don't <laughs> die here. So, <laughs> investigate the cave. Cool. This is pretty neat. Hey, what are those? Blue milk. It would be hard, if not impossible, to mistake the blue milk. This rare but delicious mushroom sports a blue cap and stalk. When cut, it produces a blue-hued, milky substance that is commonly employed in a variety of medicinal concoctions. Of course it is. A single blue milk, when consumed, will quell hunger for up to half a day and can instill a sense of heightened awareness. It'll only quell hunger for an eighth of a day if you're a hobbit. <laughs> the mushroom cap and stock can be separated and dried, then ground into flakes that are used in soups or employed by healers medicinally in salves and unguents to treat sores. Yeah, I love blue milk flavored ramen noodles. That's they're my favorite. I don't, okay. Wait, did I have some other lore that I didn't read earlier? I think I did. 
Oh yeah, about the flies. When I did, oh, the thing of the flies, that's cool. Morgai flies. When, with Mordor's predilection for unburied corpses, Morgai flies have become a mainstay. Their nests can be found hanging anywhere there might be flesh, and any disturbance sends the insects into a frenzy, like getting shot with a ghost arrow. When this happens, the malevolent creatures swarm, working in concert with one another, creating a relentless stinging mass, powerful enough to overwhelm even an armor-clad Uruk. The red markings on their back are reminiscent of the blazing eye of Sauron, and these creatures are extensions of his dark spirit. Dun-dun-dun. More guy fly. Okay, that's enough of that. I think everything else here I read about already. I got a new tutorial. Ooh, double counter. Tap it twice to counter two enemies simultaneously. Okay. All right, Gollum. What's that on the wall right there? It's just like a chunk of lava or something. Hey, I need that herb right there for my survival challenge. I need that thing. Lothrond. Now I just need two Remanthon to two Azurodan. Okay, Lothrond. Whoa, that's a strange looking little guy. A segmented fungus, sometimes referred to as a cave flower. Lothrond tends to grow in dark and dingy places. It is remarkably hardy, can tolerate great shifts in temperature, and is something of a delicacy for both the badger and hobbit folk. The badger folk? What? making shit up right now. Healers traditionally boil the fungus, stalk and all, and create a broth to clear one's air passages. Wait, you mean it has a medicinal use? This is a shocking development. It is also possible to combine Lathron with other common herbs to brew potions and salves, which can, among other things, create a temporary and inflated sense of heroism. Ah, that's kind of cool. It's like PCP. <laughs> it's like the bath salts of Middle Earth. All right. Yay, 105 Mirian. Why, yes, I will view my upgrades, thank you. How much do I have? 250. Oh, about 250. Which is not enough to get anything besides... You get another dagger rune slot, but yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna hold on to that for now. Okay, Gollum. Where are you? Maybe I should use my little tracking thing. Oh, look, look at that light coming in up there. That's cool. It says he went right here. Oh, I can pick something up here. What's that? Wait. What's that? What manner of spell is this? A lost spell of Talia. You remember? The broken religious yes. No, I wish that I didn't. So it's from his past. That's the link between them. This is not your precious. Oh, 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 whoa there, killer. That's, that's... Oh. It is escaping. One-shotted. Well, there's a Karagor down. Look, I'm sure I'll catch him. I'll take this. Jeez, how many arrows does it think I used? Look at all those arrows it's giving me all of a sudden. Alright. 
Let's go. Oh. Voodoo hunters. They must have tracked the categories here. Okay, that's not helping right now. Lurks around here somewhere. So spear checking orcs and caragoras. And cowardly gullum. Oh. Oh, so he wants us to remember. We must have her back. We must have her. Quiet. Quiet, precious. Oh, gollum. Poor gollum. I always feel so bad for him. You know I don't have your precious, right? Think you could sneak up on me so easily, eh? Hey? No, no, don't hurt us. What does he know of it? Bright master, yes, we know this. Bright master came to us in our dreams. Really? Always biting people's fingers. Uh, now you gotta get your rabies shot. Precious. It showed us. It showed us treasures of the Brain Master. No more rabies. Yes, Riddles. Resource to serve the Brain Master. Well, it's a good thing you've never betrayed anybody. I like his treasures. Let's go to get some treasures. I'm sure this guy, little guy, can be trusted. He seems legit. I do not trust him. <laughs> or not. <laughs> do not wish to know who I am. I wish to know who you are. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mission complete. Boom. And I got the bonus objective too. Um, Gollum, view entry. Yes. Ooh, Gollum. Look at him. Cool. Do you think that was that Andy Serkis actually doing the voice in this game? I mean, he's the guy that's done the voice, you know, in all the movies. Um, sounded like him, but Gollum, a pathetic creature, Gollum has all but forgotten his original name. He was Smeagol, a hobbit, corrupted beyond redemption by the power of the One Ring. Smeagol obtained the ring, affectionately called My Precious, through treachery and took it to a new home under the Misty Mountains. Under the ring's evil influence, Smeagol lived for centuries, his mind destroyed and his body twisted into a pale, skeletal form. The orcs he preyed on called him Gollum after his horrid, choking cough, and the name stuck. Smeagol was no more. After four centuries, the ring grew restless and sought a new owner in the hobbit Bilbo Baggins. But Gollum has not forgotten his precious. He has journeyed into Mordor to find it, drawn to the power of the Ringmaker. Oh, the Ringmaker. Maybe that's who the elven ghost guy is. So, yeah, this apparently takes place between The Hobbit and The, and the Lord of the Rings. So he's lost the ring to Frodo, I mean to Bilbo, but he has not yet um, re-encountered it in the hands of Frodo. Okay, so... Cool. Gollum. Poor little guy. Anything else new here? Um, what was this? I had a vision of murder. Oh. Perhaps this pain is what unites us. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so it was his family, his wife and daughter, that were killed by whoever had that axe. He was probably one of these evil guys, like the Hand of Sauron, or one of these guys that's still around. Okay, so we both want some revenge. Um, is there something new here? I don't think so. What was the new tutorial? Hunters. They should be dealt with quickly. Press spacebar while running to dodge spears. Okay, no problem. There's a little red indicator. They do more damage to beasts, including your mount. Got it. Alright, well, when we come back the next time, we will learn about Karagors. But that's going to do it for this episode. This has been Josiah Plays Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor.